Hi, I'm David Eiding, and I own 300 some odd pairs of running shoes. <laughs> when you open up the closet door and they all fall on the floor, that's hoarding. Need some help? And when they're all in boxes with most of them with the mileage on them, that's collecting. I'm sure that there's an awful lot of people that will call this hoarding. It doesn't require a whole lot to be a runner. It's really the only piece of gear that is kind of required. I was a runner shoe obsessed when I was in high school. I stopped running for 20 years and then when I started again at age 41, the shoe obsession kicked in immediately. I'm always in search of the Goldilocks shoe. Thus, I end up with this. Mostly by manufacturer is how they're organized. The ones that I'm using in rotation are all over on the floors. <laughs> Sometimes when shoes are currently being run in, I'll put these labels on them. That is a box for a Flyknit racer. That is a Nike Lunar Tempo. Ten, maybe 15% of these shoes are brand new. This is the Nike Vaporfly 4%. This is the hottest shoe in the world. I'm looking forward to being fast enough to put these on. I am self-employed in a seasonal business, so when things get uh, low on funds, I can always pull a new pair out and sell them. Interestingly enough, I rarely buy more than one at a time. Typically when the new model comes out and the old model goes on clearance, that's when I spring into action. Shoes that they come out with for marathons are limited release, so there's not a lot of them. Would have to pay a retail price for them. The logo here, the cities that you run through, it's quite a dandy, uh, this pop art. Believe it or not, I'll pull old models out when the new ones come out and I'll run in the old ones. Here's a 16, here's a 1400. I may fall in love with the model and then when the new one comes out, the changes upset me. It seems like the rev light was a little bit softer back then. They can last. I have a pair of Adidas from when I was 16 years old still. They eventually all have their tale of how they end up going to donation or uh, lawn mowing. <laughs> My eldest daughter is 24 years old. This was her bedroom growing up. She hasn't seen it. 